Whatever project we go into, we go in with the open mind and, you know, with the, with the same work ethic as anything else. And we try to tailor make the rhymes to whatever beats. We hung out before we did anything just to see the vibe and we all got along really well so from there went into let's work on a song once this, that song got done and we heard the end results of it we're like wow that worked out really well and he liked it too so he was like well let's let's work on some more stuff that normally wouldn't fit with Cypress you know we all you know, have our things and, and we try to get them out there and it's like pressure relief basically because, you know, you may have a great idea and you think people should hear it, you know, so you try to create a different avenue so people will hear it because, I mean, you know, we, we're all creative people on our ends. If we wanted to, like, bring in all these different types of things, there'd be no continuity within the Cypress Hill record. But what we do do is what we've learned from doing all those those separate projects, the experience you gain from it is you bring that back to the table. So it's either a new technique or a new style or whatever it is, you know, and you bring it home. Whenever we run, whenever we load the boat, people crowd around, we take control, it's impossible with the weed I hold for you not to get down. When you here in the first place, you came to the worst place, I'm high on the surface. You don't want that green spit the scene, no state your purpose. We were one of the first that were doing blogs and, and doing autograph signings at our shows. They call them meet and greets now. But, uh, you know, we, we were pioneers with that stuff because we knew right off the bat that the most important thing was making the fans feel like, you know, we're, you know, interacting with them, like that we're one of them. We still on the come up, and we come with a guns up. They ain't about dumb luck. Got my hands on the pump, what? Like it's all like a dumb truck. There's only one Cypress Hill in the world, and we are them, you know. And it's a great honor to to uh, you know be considered legendary West Coast artists, whatever you want to call us. Um, it's a great honor to pe have people think about you in that in that way. Uh, also, you know, to have our band, you know, being at you know 20 plus years, um, uh, that's a great big deal too. And uh, it comes with a lot of responsibility, but with a lot of rewards. Um, and I think that uh, you know, just uh, just being able to still do you know music that's still relative today, and <clears throat> and people still enjoy it as much as our older music and stuff like that. I mean, it, it just keeps me wanting to to test ourselves to see how much better we can get. You know, I don't. We've never talked about ever one day ever stopping. So. Um, the fact that, you know, it's going to be a good job for me for a long time also inspires me. <laughs>